Today's featured piece of equipment is the dumbbell. So um, I always talk about one piece of basic equipment. Obviously I've acquired several throughout the years, but for beginners, you don't need to spend a whole lot. I say this all the time. So go out and invest in one good piece of equipment to start. You can have, always add to it later. Um, but here are some really good movements you can do with just one dumbbell. You obviously have your standard dumbbell curls. So one arm curls, pretty straightforward. We see this a lot, it's pretty common. Builds great biceps. You just wanna make sure you do equal reps on both arms so you don't end up lopsided. Then you've got the triceps. So you simply just balance yourself. You can use one hand on um, the same knee to just create balance, and you're just gonna simply take that dumbbell and row up. This is great for the triceps, or the flying squirrels, as we like to call them. And again, make sure you are treating both arms equally to get really good tone in both arms. Now, it's time to work the legs with one dumbbell. Goblet squats, you can do this with kettlebells, you can do this with one dumbbell, which is what I'm gonna show you. It's just a simple air squat, holding that dumbbell close to your chest with both hands. You're gonna squat below parallel. Don't let those knees go in front of the toes. And this is a goblet squat with a dumbbell. Walking lunges. So you can either do this with the dumbbell at your side, go down one way, switch arms, and go back, walking lunges with the dumbbell down, and then you can do walking lunges with one arm up. So you're just gonna hold that dumbbell up in the air. When you're doing this, you're gonna be lopsided. Your body's gonna wanna balance. So this is really great to get the opposite side of your body to react to the weight on the other side of your body. So all of these muscles are gonna contract to try to keep your body balanced as you walk forward. So this is just really great for balance, core strength, arm strength, and legs all the way around. Then you can of course go back to more arms by doing push press, shoulder to overhead. Again, treating both sides of the body fairly. Um, this is just really great for the shoulders and the traps. And of course the good old farmer carry. We do these with kettlebells, sandbags, all of the above. Dumbbells work great. It's a very practical move. It works on grip strength, forearms, traps. Um, you're carrying a bag of groceries or a suitcase. Again, very practical. You can just carry the dumbbell in one hand, 100 meters down, switch hands, 100 meters back. Again, because we have one dumbbell on one side of the body, the opposite side of the body is really going to engage. Um, all of those muscles are gonna contract to keep you balanced which is just great um, for core strength um, on the opposite side of the body. So farmer's carry, very basic, very simple. And then you can even take this bad boy to do some really great ab work um, with some overhead weighted sit-ups. Um, you're just gonna take that dumbbell, click the back of the floor, use it to sit up, touch the front between the toes, and back down. So this is just really great core strength, your basic weighted sit-up. If you really want to do more ab work, get those outer obliques. Do miss outer obliques. This isn't playtime, buddy. Outer obliques taken care of. You just do some Russian twists. This is just basically taking that weight and going side to side, balancing on the tush, and really kind of keeping those abs tight and sucked in, and you're gonna just do some Russian twists. So there you go. There's some workouts you can do with one dumbbell. They come obviously in various sizes. This is a 10 pounder, this is a 20 pounder. Pick the weight of your choice and have fun.